This week on Scam School, look like a master card manipulator when you spin a card on the tip of a finger. All right, back again learning card flourishes. We got Jason Murphy, we got OMG Chad, and we've got Garrett. Good to see you, Garrett. Let's say you get to a moment where you find somebody's card, you can just flip it over. But if you want to give it a little bit of an extra bump, you can add this little flourish where you pull out the one card and you spin it on your fingertip before you reveal it to be their card. And it's something that is super easy to learn. It'll take a bit of time to really master it, but I think all of you guys can get it immediately. Well, here, show me what you think. It looked like you'd used your thumb to push it around. <laughs> Just, just yes. like this. Yeah, no, just go. Just Dude, like this. That would be this. amazing. You just whip it out and like. Watch out. The first thing you want to do is get like a credit card, hotel key card, or something with a little bit of heft. And I find that getting a little bit of moisture on my middle finger helps out to find that middle spot. Your thumb and your forefinger are going to reach forward as if they're kind of just pulling it forward to spin it. Just try to spin it one revolution at a time, like this. Oh, you use your finger below, too. That's right, that's right. You'll notice your fingers will automatically adjust to always be in the middle balanced area there. First, everybody show me that you can balance it, right? Good, 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 good. Now, both your thumb and your index finger are gonna reach forward and kind of pull one part of it towards you. And don't, don't try to get a big spin, just try to get it to switch sides. Just a 180 degree turn, that was good. First, just try to get it to do a 180, like that. And you'll notice that after that 180 turn, your finger is slightly off center. As you practice that over and over again, you'll learn to keep your finger right in the middle. You'll also notice there's a bit of an upward toss motion. You're just sort of lifting your finger just a bit. So by using a thick card like this, you'll have more stability and you should be able to practice over and over and over again. You notice you're kind of slanted here and it wants to fall down. Everything should be parallel with the floor, like a table. Table, table, table. What part of your middle finger are you using? The top, uh, the pad? I, I'm using just above the pad. Somewhere in between the tip of the finger and the pad it seems to be the right spot for me. You're gonna kick it forward, you're gonna lift your hand at the same time, and it's not quite like you're throwing it, but it's just enough to make it lighter. Dude, yeah, you've got it down, Chad. Yeah, I think I'm getting it. Once you get it down and you're able to do 180s over and over and over again, then you're ready to start trying with the playing card. Are you are you kind of grabbing it with your thumb and forefinger? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so wa watch closely. It's balanced on my middle finger there, yeah. right? I'm grabbing with both my index finger and my thumb at the same time, as if it's a hand. So I'm doing exactly this motion, Yeah. just with the same hand is all. Right? I've gone to a card. Oh, you've moved you've moved on to a card. I, I only just because I was wondering if the if the weight of this was slowing it down. Well, and in fact that's why I recommend starting with a thick plastic card right. to train, because then when you switch to a card, it's much, much easier. You'll notice that these outlaws they have this radial pattern on the back, which makes it pretty easy to find that sweet spot in right. the middle. You're able to give it a nice slow, luxurious oh, wow. spin like that, right? And you'll notice that less is more. The less you do, the more precise everything feels. Josh? Ryan? I thought we were gonna have a party! Connolly, it's Brushwood! What the heck, bro? I thought we were gonna party! You hit a million! Is this because I didn't register that domain we were talking about? All right, look, don't worry about it. I know I said that I was gonna make you a website, but I got distracted, and yes, I could have just gone to domain.com where it would have been fast, easy, and reliable, and yes, I could have gotten 15% off by using promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, but the fact is you hit one million subscribers on your YouTube channel, buddy. Let me be the first to say you're welcome. I mean, you did notice it happened mere minutes after I mentioned it. I mean, granted, it was thousands of minutes, but it happened shortly thereafter. Look, you're not ignoring me again, are you? We got a party! Do you remember when we did the card springing thing and we broke down individual parts of it? Yep. And we got good at it? So with your right hand, you're going to practice the balancing on your middle finger. And use your left hand to go ahead and knock it just to practice making sure you get that balancing right. Perfect! Look at that! So keep doing that and then your right hand is gonna get trained. Because here's the thing, this muscle memory only happens by rote re repetition, right. right? 
Chad, let me see you do it. There you go, just like that, perfect. Now, as you get better and better with that right hand middle finger holding it right in the middle, then you're able to involve your thumb and forefinger to keep it spinning around. I am astonished at how fast you guys yeah. are picking this up. This is amazing. Oh, Garrett says, don't look over here. Yeah. <laughs> Here, sh show me the balancing, Garrett. And remember what I said, just with your left hand, just give it a twist. You got it, you got it. All right, now, same thing. You're doing the exact same motions, only with your same right hand. I think my thumb and forefinger are pushing down on it. One way people make a mistake is by going too far off to the side. They're trying to grab from out here. That's jogging everything all sideways. Oh, I Instead, think I the closer to the middle yeah, everything happens. I just tried that. Then all of a sudden you're, you're going from the center of gravity where all the stability is. Yeah, I can't seem to grab it like with my with my thumb and forefinger really. Oh my god. You got oh. it! That was really How the best one. That? that was pretty cool. It becomes incredibly satisfying once oh, you get it down. Man, right? That was way neat. <gasps> nice! Holy <done>. crap! <laughs> yeah, the throwing it up in the air really leaves a lot of weight off of the uh, the card. And the less weight is on your finger, the right. less it matters that it's exactly perfectly centered. Right. Dude, Jason's got it down. Look at that, Garrett. There it was. I got an easy card. I, I, I got centered on both sides so I can just look. Oh, and, and that's actually a really good point. If you use a card that has the center of gravity clearly depicted, it makes it a lot easier to balance it on there. One thing that I've learned that actually moistening all of my fingertips. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so that you, you get so better that grip above actually and, grab, and below. Yeah. All right, final exam time. Garrett, show me what you got. Whoa! Nice. All right, Chad. What? <laughs> show it off! <laughs> When you get yes. it just right, you feel like you're in the green. Yeah, you really you're like, do. oh, all is right with the world. All right, Murphy. Uh, I have a different technique. Yeah? Dude, that works. That's hey. good by me. You whip that out and bust out the, the thumb slap. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm damn. Right. Dude, you guys are killing it. All right, Woo! toast me. I'm the only one still drinking. Yeah, Screw you guys. I drink all mine. <laughs> Now, I know this is not what you want to hear, but this is one of those things that only works with tons and tons and tons of practice. But it is one of those things that you can do all the time. Every time you're on the phone, every time somebody's talking to you and you don't really want to pay attention, just be practicing that move and before you know it, you will have this thing down and you'll look like a total badass. And when you do, I want you to hit me up at twitter.com slash There is no C in Schwood. And of course, because we're best friends, I assume you've already subscribed over at The Modern Rogue. This channel is blowing up, man. Me and Jason Murphy are on a quest to do the manliest things we know how. Stuff like cooking a steak with thermite. How do we cook this? How do we cook a steak? There you go. Oh, God, that's bright. Yeah, it's hot. Oh my God, look, 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 it's working. Yeah! Of course, that's at youtube.com slash modern rogue. And more importantly, I think I have to go test for salmonella. I don't, I don't think we necessarily had the best food prep. You're ignoring me, aren't you? There's a little girl in your set. <laughs> Come here. Can you say domain.com? Domain that's right. Can you say promo code scam school? Promo code scam Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>